Hello everyone. Welcome back to Tony's Sleep Hacks podcast. It's been a while since I've been recording. I've been busy, but I'm glad to be back. It's a long weekend here in Canada and the United States. Labor Day and I'm super excited. We still have some great weather, some nice things going on. Hey guys, so today I want to talk about something that happened to me in our retail store. And just so everybody knows, I'm wearing my famous uh, our, our great Down Under t-shirt, which we love to really, you know, let people know about our brand and our story and our mission. But I want to talk about particularly about something that happened in store in real life a couple of months ago. Somebody had bought a Hush branded weighted blanket, which is an amazing product, and they did not like it, so they wanted to return it. And when I came outside, the salesperson was having a problem because the person who had bought uh, the blanket was being very unreasonable. They brought back uh, the blanket in a very um, soiled and stained condition and um, they just couldn't understand that this blanket needed to be resold it needed to be back how they got it in the brand new condition and um, you know I had to get quite heated I mean ask yourself this because I come from the world of retail is the customer always right and in this case, the customer was not right. You know, once I had to actually raise my voice and let the customer know that it's very similar to like clothing. I mean, if you knew buy a pair of jeans or a t-shirt or a shirt, a jacket, a pair of running shoes, they don't always tell you it needs to come back with the labels on and in the original condition because it's understood. It's known unless it's actually defective and there's a problem with it, you have to return it back in the original condition. And that's when he finally got the message. And what happened was this customer went back, he made sure um, that blanket was brought back in a totally clean sanitary state and we refunded him his money. Because we have no problem living up to our policies. It's like, this when somebody's being unreasonable unfortunately we have to stand our ground and that's what I did and and I think he was a little shocked he didn't think that you know he thought he could just walk all over our sales uh, our staff and and there would be no repercussions and once he found out that hey there was some pushback he really got the message and the most interesting thing about the story to me was a few weeks later, the same customer was actually back in our store purchasing some other product. And he came up to me and he actually apologized for what had happened. And to me, that's great because, I mean, when we learn something, it's a two-way street. We can learn from our customers and sometimes our customers can learn from us. So that to me was an amazing story because there's not a lot of action or interaction with customers these days when you're selling on the internet, when you're selling on Amazon and Walmart and eBay and Wayfair and all these different platforms where we're just, we're left to emails and things like that. And it's not always the same when you're digital. Sometimes when you, even when you have a confrontation with a customer, it's great because we can really figure out what's going on. We want to make sure that we can make everything that's digital and online the best experience that it can be and that all our customers know our company policies from the, from the forefront, which is great. So guys, that's exactly what happened. That's my experience. That's what I want to talk about. One other thing I really want to talk about, we have a bunch of huge launches coming up uh, in the fall. And people always ask me, how are you able to launch these products? And I always tell them our strategy is very different. We don't have to go all in. We don't have to buy huge quantities 
of things. When I, you've got established contacts, like I do, for 30 years in an industry and niche, people actually approach me. Hey, I've got a new line, I've got a product, or I've got a deal, and that's great, but that's not always available to everybody. But follow my strategy, which is make your relationships with wholesalers so you can experiment with product, see what works, see what doesn't work, and then go from there. Because when you know what works, what's your best seller, you can really start to scale. Peace out, guys.